Hello, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you, and today, we are back on Keeper RL. Why, you may ask? Because it's now Alpha 29. They have updated it. And... Wait, mods? Let's see here, most of the... These are... Uh, oh, I thought I downloaded this already. Uh... Downloading rat mod. Just download them all, I guess. Uh, anyway, let's see, Keeper RL. No. Uh, I was gonna put this. So uh, there we go. And download. What happens if I download all of these? Activate. Okay, so I can choose which one I activate. Very good. And as you can see, today we are playing Keeper Aya, where we are going to be Ant Queen. For some reason, I always like to play as giant insects if I ever get the opportunity. Uh, but first, before we start, let's read up the uh, exactly what's going to be added. Uh, we're going to skip the improvements and fixes. Well, no, we're going to read the improvements too. Okay. So... Keep our oil off. 29 is out. This update features Steam Workshop integration, which is true. I downloaded that stuff off Steam. Uh, let's change log. Okay. Gameplay. Mods and retired dungeons are shared on Steam Workshop. Contagious plague effect. Z-level enemies can attack upon being discovered. Enemy aggression can be tweaked in settings. Spying effect, which allows infiltrating enemy territory. Equip shield, prevents equipping bows and two-handed weapons. New parry attribute, which prevents debuffs when surrounded by enemies. Temporarily insane creatures won't make allies hostile forever. Thank the gods, because this used to happen every single time I ran into a fucking ghost. All consumable items are automatically picked up by minions. That's also kind of nice. Creatures with zero range damage can't equip bows. Poetry writing. I'm, I'm not too sure about the poetry writing. Creatures can't cast spells at enemies that they can't see. Bodies of water become bloody after a large battle. Items can have randomized modifiers. Walking into the map border opens the travel menu. Under their furniture can be built on top of prison floor. Yay. Is they used to have to make a separate thing for the torture, and I want them to see the torture. Anyway, content, special item ingredients, Hydra Tongue, Cyclops Brain, Dragon Scales, and more. Uh. Sure, why not? Start new game is Ant Queen Evil. Uh. Look at the campaign mode, I am aware. Uh. No, customize. Email has been start. Endless enemy waves after winning. Enemy aggression, moderate, none. <laughs> no, moderate. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We have an unknown ally. We have spiders. We got other ants. Yeah, I was hoping for, well, we have doors. Eh, let's just play this. And I don't know how dangerous the unicorn are, but we have some allies here. Anyway. <clears throat> Iron Man and Man Tight Shields. Wizard Hats, aka Carnuthums. Underground tree shrooms for players who always run out of wood. Desert biome with thieves' castle and a gin in a dungeon. Snow biome with Eskimos and a white dragon. Totems that have a permanent area effect. Healing, blindness, bleeding. Evil God Adoxy is in vanilla game with his own secret level. Fuck me. Double Trouble Unique Ability. Black Rats Infected with Plague Z Level. Group Healing Spell Effects Only Allies. And then modding is... 
Honestly, something I don't know anything about. Improve mod menu. Added locate button to minion page. Rectangle selection on the map shows rectangle dimensions. Upload dungeons includes screenshot of an area chosen by the dungeon's author. Main menu and loading bar. Visual changes. Added warning when online features are disabled and try and download maps mods. Main menu can display personal messages from the developer. Added item effect description to items tooltip. Add some handy links to the main menu. Return key closes text windows. That's it. I don't feel like adding any retired dungeons today. Yeah, that's a couple of sixes. Welcome to the Rat Mod. How tough are you? Rat Mod is a random assortment of additions to keep her RL and is updated infrequently. I will attempt to keep it updated with the game, fix bugs, but do not be alarmed if it goes wild well without new stuff. Rats focus on nighttime production and swarming enemies. Ant Queen presents a unique keeper type that requires lots of gold management. Skeleton King relies on fresh courses to feed his army or else be bothered by the living. I don't know why King Koopa's in here really, wish I could tell ya, it just seemed like fun. The current keeper will appear as villains at some point with their own lairs, but for now, enjoy what they offer. I don't know, give me coffee. Remember that all rats come from home. Dismissed! Oh, we have giant ant drones. It's so cute. Okay, uh... Damn, it has been a while since I've played, huh? Well, typically they spawn you in the... Yeah, safest area first. No, wait. <laughs> All right, no, that was control. Uh, controls deletes, them, right? Yeah. Shift if I want straight lines, or just boxes. I'll well, get to digging. I think numbers change movement speed, right? Or the game speed. Yep. Yeah, numbers still change game speed. Hello, Ant Queen! And as you can see, yep, everything is basic gold. Okay, let's take a look at this. We have the giant ant drone. A giant ant, which requires one basic bed. Giant ant soldier. Giant spitting ant. Giant fire ants. You need ant evolution technologies. You need giant ant monarch. Increases population limit by one. Technology sorcery requires a basic bed. Advanced evolution, giant ant warrior. Hmm. Armor wise, these guys are better, but damage wise, these guys are better, huh? Well, except for you. I don't. What do you use for it? Uh, advanced evolution, giant ant mage, giant water ant. Ant effigy. I don't know what that is. Prisoners, supplies your imp force can be converted to side using torture. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how we... Okay, uh... Ant larvae, allows ants to be spawned, requires luxury. Increases luxury, increases population limit by 0.25 thrown. Library, storage, doors, okay. Just checking to see if anything's different. How do we get workers? Is it just capturing people? Huh. You see, normally I would not want to get gold at this stage because... Gold means I'm gonna get attacked by bandits. But I have to have gold this. Otherwise, I won't... Oh, yeah, we have that. Yay! Okay, uh... Yeah, let's dig a small room here, I guess. I usually like to put a living... Well, normally I'd put the animals here. Alright, we don't have animals. Mm. Uh... Okay, maybe I should have them start... In that case, make that the storage room. And it's not like gold's gonna get stored there. So it should be fine. 
Uh, order, no, no, not installations. Uh, storage, here we go. Resources. Just put them right there. I mean, we're ants. Do we really need torches? Okay, let's dig out more places here. We shall make a wonderful ant colony, which the entire <laughs> ant world shall envy. See, that's stone. Uh, first, I'd like some rooms. A room. This is just resources, which is why I put that there. I want to be able to buy ants as soon as I get the money for it. Oh. That's weird. I just right clicked on it and. Oh, right. That, uh. Right click normally dismisses, but since they're always there, since it's the spawn thing, it probably just switches which ones are there. Oh. Good for me. <laughs> I just saved some gold. Eh, uh, wait. Living. Uh. Wait, didn't they say we need beds? Do they mean larvae? Uh, I guess they meant the larva. Yeah, well, there's a little bit of a conundrum, but uh, I guess put the store's chest here for now. Yeah, told you. Triggered everybody. Alright, now let's see if we can get some... Nah, it's 30. Okay, so the larvae count as basic beds and... Alright, so that's indeed the case. Well, once we get them, we don't have to get them again, so I guess it's fine. Oh, no, wait. Cancel. No. No. Wait. Stop. I paused. There. That should be good enough. My digs rest me. Oh. Oh, you're my workers, then, aren't you? Like these guys? Oh, no, wait. Oh, you're not. These guys are the infinite carry. Huh. Alright, um... Better start digging out over here. There's some wooden training dummies, so... Yeah, let's get that together then. I mean, for 
now I just have the resources. Eh, I don't have enough gold for that. Go away. Bother somebody else. Eh, uh, training, wooden dummies. Wait, what? Yes. Run! Dismiss! Oh! The queen's a bit stronger than I thought she'd be. No, we don't have a prison, so... No capturing. Oh, cool! Exit control mode. Load, unhappy. Yeah, our morale's probably not that good right now. Yep, and giant ant soldier. Again, I don't know why it requires an individual training dummy for each creature, since it's not like they're all going to be using the training dummies at the same time. You know, they alternate between them. So it should just be at least have one, and that makes more sense to me than having it. Everyone needs them, but oh well. And I can do with that. It's just some feedback. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Alright, uh. I guess make some graves too. Yeah, you can go fast. I suppose we should have some luxuries. We haven't even explored yet, but... Yeah, let's consider some turn start corpses into gold from the laboratory. Oh! Okay, yeah, we need, uh, consumption. Storage equipment. You're turning into a bit of a storehouse, aren't you? Well, as long as you gain more strength. For now, putting that there seems like the best course of action. Really gonna make me make a damn storage thing for every single one of them, huh? Ah, it doesn't look like I need a prison, thankfully. I'd like to avoid getting prisons for now. Uh, give me that, that. Yeah, you can fit one of those right there. You'll be able to move some of this stuff at some point, just not right now. Kill enemies, summon succubus to increase the morale of your... Yeah, I'd love to, but... Yeah, let's get some wood then. Uh, make some wooden floors, that should up the luxury a little. Alright, that's how that works. My ant colony. Have everything so nice. Iron door here, just to make me feel better. Not really using the iron for anything else. Uh, I would like to get some more of these uh, giant ant soldiers. So, training dummies it is. There you go, population limit reached. <laughs> Wait, 
do you guys even need equipment? Well, anyway, that room's full, so... At some point, we're gonna need to make another one, just not yet. Or expand that. And I think I want to make another one somewhere deeper in. See if the trees can see in the dark. Oh, wait, can we all do that? See in the dark. Hmm, so that means we should. Pr we could probably do nighttime raids if we wanted to. And we have the resources for iron, so. Give me some iron dummies. floors everywhere here. Wait, what the hell did you just kill? Oh, what the fuck is a deer doing in my place? Weird. Huh. There's not a lot of trees by us, are there? It's also weird. Usually the damn things are everywhere. Not there. Okay, are you training well? That is good. Yes. Oh, yay! Somebody killed it. Excellent. So it looks like we need four of these things just to get one population point going. If you could see in the dark, then you should be capable of doing this. Yes. <laughs> Time to explore. can't see through trees, though. Oh, humans! Hi! Kill them all. Yay! <laughs> Look at all the gold. Yay, we're rich! We can spawn more ants! Okay, we don't have to go hunting around for living creatures right now, since, uh... You know, we don't have the ability to convert their corpses into gold. No. No! Ah, fuck. I meant to say no! Hmm. I'm assuming dwarves. Uh, exit control mode. I will control you individually. Cobalt corpse. Oh. Oh, these were the bandits. Oh. No, okay, that's dwarves. If I go bother them, they'll kill me. Exit control mode. Uh...
Consumption. Can store parts of other materials in the laboratory. All right, so that means we need a laboratory. <laughs> Good job, ants. fair against dwarves. I mean, they're have dwarves are pretty heavily armored, but at the same time, you know, these are ants. We have, like, the chitinous hides. We should be okay-ish, right? Maybe? Uh, oh, yeah, fetch items. Fetch corpse. You claim it, you keep it. Uh, let's make the lab an offshoot of here. I think it'd be good. A lot of corpses! Damn, a lot. If I shift click, can I. No. Okay, they make ten at a time. I love you. I really do. <laughs> because that is just... That is the tops. Okay, uh... Damn, what can I do? What should I do now? have much more available to me than I previously thought, as far as resources are concerned. Oh wait, they don't have the eye. Oh yeah, I was wondering, like, I don't remember the map being this dark all the time, and it's like, the eye, it is missing. Okay, I honestly think the dwarves are... Hmm, they might be a little bit too out of our reach. As far as attacking goes. Hmm. I'm not sure. I want to test it. But at the same time, I do not want to die horrifically. I know 
know I don't exactly make these dungeons elaborate yet, but, you know, I'm still getting into it, and I can make elaborate dungeons eventually, at some point, just not right now. And that is actually all the time we have for this episode. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like, and comment, subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. And I think... Wait, in production, but there's only... Well, the others might just be sleeping. Okay. Oh, we don't have enough bodies. Okay. Yeah, they probably made for as many bodies as we had to do it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good whatever applies to you.